Koref. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got a beer or a lager from Cornwall and it's called Coref and it's brewed by St. Austell Brewery in right down in the west of uh, the United Kingdom in a place called Cornwall. Um, if you've never been there, you have to go. It is an absolutely amazing place. It's magical. Um, I've got a mate who lives in a place called Boscastle, which is in North Cornwall. And uh, honestly, it is so it's so amazing. I mean, where he lives, it's Tintagel is just up the road, and that's where King Arthur's Castle is supposed to be. And there's a fantastic brewery in Tintagel. And he sent me some beers down from there, and they were absolutely amazing. And I didn't fucking review them, and I'm fuming over that. So the next time I go up there, I'm going to have to get some and review it. But this, and he mentioned this as well. He said he's getting a bit tired of St. St. Austell. He said they're everywhere in Cornwall, and they are. When I went down there, I was drinking this Corev Lager. It was in the middle of summer. It was really hot. It was a few years ago now. And this was quite nice. I've not tasted it since, and I don't really remember, because... It was a bit of a heavy weekend when I went down there, so I'm going to revisit this in a bottle and see what it's like. Now, Corif is Cornish, which is an old Celtic language. Uh, there's the cap. There it is, St. Austell cap. Um, Corif in Cornish, which is, as I say, is very, very similar to, to Welsh. Um, it's a Celtic language, you know, with, you know, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Cornwall, and Breton, or Brittany in France. They're all sort of linked languages. And I think even Galicia in Spain as well. That's Celtic as well. But I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, this is the this is the label. That is the old Cornish flag. Well, it is the Cornish flag. It's the white cross on a, on a black background. And... Uh, it says Corif is a traditional Cornish word meaning beer. That's what it does. It means beer in uh, Cornish. It says we've included the finest barley malt grown in Cornwall. Classic hops, Magnum, Hersbrucker and Sars. So, yeah, Magnum hops are more found in IPAs and pale ales than lagers. But Sars, definitely. You can't go wrong with Sars. Um, Corif is a wonderful pale colour clean and crisp taste lager's not crisp lager is smooth crisp to me is like hooser or a very very bitter pale ale or india pale ale when they say lager's crisp it's not i don't think it's you know crisp is the wrong adjective anyway i'm splitting hairs here um yeah and it's just got the usual fare on the back it's 500 milliliter bottle it's 4.8 percent in the volume this is it, brewed by uh, St. Austell Brewery. Let's get into the glass. St. Austell do um, quite a few beers. They do Tribute, which is their flagship beer, and that accounts for a hell of a lot. I think it's more than 80% or something of their their sales. And they do, to be honest, I've reviewed Tribute, and it's pretty uninspiring. They didn't really do anything for me at all. Um, they also do Proper Job, again, which didn't really do much for me. Um, I don't know whether it's the the doom bar syndrome where they've got too too big for their own capacity, if you like. God, this is really you smell them sour hops in there. Really, you know, just sort of holding it here and it's wafting up. And it's in a brown bottle as well, so it's not skunky at all. It's really strong, and it's it's got lemon citrus. I can smell the sars hops, the sort of slight bitterness on the sars hops. Um, 
interesting they've used Magnum. Um, the malt is there as well. It does smell, you know, slightly hop heavy, but let's uh, let's get it down the hatch. It's okay. The malt is tasting very, very slightly, slightly burnt, and the hops also give it like a, a bitter taste, but there is lemons, lemon citrus on that as well, which, <clears throat> which is okay. It's not a bad lager, I will say, but it doesn't really stand out as being amazing. Um, as I say, I've had it on draft, I've drank it before, and um, it's quite popular in Cornwall. If you go to most of the pubs in Cornwall, they will have Corev as one of their, which I think is great, you know, they're supporting a local brewery, and they're sort of selling that in their pubs, and it's quite popular. Um, is it a great beer? It does everything a lager should. It's it's quite drinkable on a hot day, as I've you know I've experienced this in Cornwall. It was very very pleasant. Went down very well. Um, that doesn't ring alarm bells with me. There's nothing in there that would make me want to, you know, throw it down the sink. But it doesn't stand out as being absolutely amazing. I imagine this is quite, quite sort of widely produced by the St Austell Brewery because it's available in it's quite widely available in the Morrison supermarkets so they must have brewed a hell of a lot of this and it's just okay it doesn't stand out it doesn't put up any trees and it doesn't make me want to you know sing its praises it's okay It does, it does what lager should do and nothing more so what mark will I give that um, doesn't bowl me over but it doesn't annoy me I'd give it a 6 out of 10 would I recommend it if you're in Cornwall and you're a lager drinker I'd say buy that instead of you know your usual Carlin or Foster's if it's available down there this is quite nice. It's a little bit better than all the it's a little bit better than all the macro brewed stuff that you get. So yeah. Only if you're in Cornwall get this. If you're not, there's much better beers out there, I think, or much better lagers. Um so yeah, I'd give it I'd give it a six out of ten and I'd recommend it if you're in Cornwall. Don't go out your way to buy it. It won't blow your socks off, but it won't annoy you. So if there's nothing else, buy that. So yeah. And remember, beer is working class champagne.